Welcome to St. Ambrose as we celebrate the joy of Easter. Only Jesus gave his life for us. Only Jesus can set us free. Only Jesus can show us the way to heaven. Only Jesus can perfectly fill our hearts with joy and with peace. As we enter into the joy of this Easter celebration, take a deep breath, open your heart to the Lord. Allow Jesus, his light, his love, his hope, his peace to enter deep within. Let us pray.
Paschal victim, we give thankful praise. Christ ever sinless, his sheep now he saves. Death did not hold him, he rose from the grave. Hallelujah. Jesus opens the gate to heaven by his resurrection. So let us stand together and sing number 172. Jesus Christ is risen today. Number 172. Ending with the refrain of Jesus Christ, you are my life. the joy of Easter and the promise of the Lord being with us that brings us together as we gather in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and the peace of our risen Lord Jesus be with all of you. And with your spirit. As we come together this morning, we literally, amid the fog, bask in the light that is Jesus Christ. Don't even think for a moment about fog. It was foggy, yes? What do they use to find the way through the fog? What do they use to find their way through storms? How do they land planes? So we come together today to bask in the light Jesus Christ. 
And when we focus on the light, Jesus Christ, we will always find our way. And along the way, that way will be safe. God will give us safe passage. Amen? Amen. So let's take a moment. And let's pray for the grace and the wisdom, not only on Easter, but every day, to seek, to search, to follow the light that is Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus, you are the light stronger than all the darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are the love that sets us free. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are strength for the journey. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, on earth peace, to people of good will. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, on earth peace, to people of good will. We praise you. God, who on this day, through your only begotten Son, have conquered death and unlocked for us the pathway to heaven, grant, we pray, that we who keep solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may, through the renewal brought about by your Spirit, rise up to the light of eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy <laughs> Spirit and power. He went about doing good, and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. 
This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him, all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if then you are raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not of what is on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ your life appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Tender. 
God raised me up. The hand of the Lord has triumphed. I shall never die. I shall From the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Salome, brought spices so that they might go and anoint him. Very early, when the sun had risen, on the first day of the week, they came to the tomb. They were saying to one another, Who will roll the back the stone for us? from the entrance of the tomb. When they looked up, they saw that the stone had been rolled back. It was very large. On entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in a white robe, and they were utterly amazed. He said to them, do not be amazed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, the crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. But go and tell the disciples and Peter, he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him as he told you. The Gospel of the Lord. So, happy Easter, everyone. So, there is an event coming up. It's not nearly as important as Easter, but it's getting a lot more media attention. Anybody know what it is? Exactly. They are closing roads. They are closing schools. How many of you are afraid to go out of your house on April the 8th? <laughs> Buy lots of water. Stock up, right? Now, I am not a genius, I am not a rocket scientist. I told Mrs. Kautzman, our amazing kindergarten teacher, she will appreciate this. So basically, I'm a simpleton at heart. So let me try to explain what I come to understand as the eclipse, right? So first, there is the sun that gives us light. Yes or yes? yes. And there's gonna be a moment where the moon is gonna pass in front of it, yes or yes? and it's going to be dark for about five minutes. <laughs> How have I done, Mrs. Kautzman? Is that pretty close? So, what comes first? Light. We'll call it the light, yes? What comes first? Light. And then something, we'll call it the moon, is going to block it. And then there's going to be what? Light. I think I got it, right? And there's something captivating, like everybody is fascinated and intrigued about the fact that it's going to be dark. But what comes first? And that's what brings us together today. We come together today to celebrate that Jesus is our, it is a light stronger than all the, Unfortunately, we get captivated by the dark. But today, we should be intrigued and inspired by the light that is Jesus Christ. Easter proclaims that Jesus is the light stronger than all the darkness. Jesus is the light that can always show us the way. Jesus is the light that illuminates the pathway to heaven. And you and I need to do whatever it takes to remove whatever blocks that light in our lives. That's really what captivates me. Think about this for a moment. Literally, it's not that the light goes out. Something blocks the light, yes or yes? And the same is true for us. We come together on this Easter to renew our commitment to live in the light that is Jesus Christ. 
Every day, he wants to be more radiant than the brightest, sunny, most beautiful day in your life. Every day, he wants to be the joy that fills your spirit and fills your soul. Every day, he wants to literally shower down his light upon you so that your life, your home, your family can be blessed. And in order to experience this radiant, eternal, inspiring, beautiful light that is Christ, we need to remove whatever blocks that light from our lives. It's a simple metaphor, yes? But it's a deep and profound thought. Think about this. We are captivated by the dark. And often we are trapped and consumed with the darkness in our lives. But Christ, the light, is stronger than all that darkness. As we go forth today from our Easter celebration, how do you choose every day to live in the radiant light, the inspiring, never-ending light and love that is Jesus Christ? a light stronger than the darkness, a light that will always show you the way and give you safe passage through now and into heaven. Secondly, you got to remove whatever is blocking the light in your life. Think of all the things that block the light for us. We get overwhelmed. We get consumed in worry and fear. Sometimes we're just in bad and toxic environments and relationships. Think about all the things that block. We get too busy. I can't even take time to pray. I'm too busy. What is that? It's a way of blocking the light. What is it that blocks the light that is Christ in your life? And then finally, how do we choose to go forth today to bring the light of Christ to others. We saw this so beautifully last night at the Easter Vigil. We welcomed 31 people into the church, 20 baptisms. We started off by lighting a new fire. And then into the church came one light symbolizing Jesus. And then we spread the light person to person And the light and the church was radiant. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that? And if all of us go forth today and every day to literally pass on the light that is Jesus Christ, our homes will be happier. Your marriages will be more loving. Our workplaces will be more joyful, peaceful, and calm. And ultimately, if you and I choose to live in the light, to remove whatever blocks that light, and to share the light, then our world will be more at peace. I'm a simpleton at heart. What came first? The light. Something's going to block it. We get captivated with the darkness. Choose the light, remove the darkness, and share that light in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen? Amen. As I mentioned last night, 20 20 people got baptized. Beautiful, yes? Yes. And another 11 joined the church, and they professed our faith. And we're going to have the opportunity now to renew the promises of our own baptism. And so I ask you, do you reject Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty promises? I do. He is the source of darkness. Amen? Amen? Do you believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and of earth? Do you believe in his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who was crucified, died, and buried, who rose from the dead, and now is seated at the right hand of the Father? And do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, 
the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. This is our faith, and this is the faith of the Church, and we're proud to profess it together in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. So I'm now going to bless you with this holy water. Just like at your baptism, at your baptism, you and I receive the light. When I walk through the church, really use it as a moment. Lord, I want your light in my life. I don't like the fog. I don't like the darkness. I want you to be that radiant light in my life. From our baptism, God promised not only to give us the light, but he said anybody who walks in this light, you can always turn and lift up prayers, needs, and petitions. for our church and all her leaders, that they proclaim the good news of the resurrection and show God's mercy and love through their faithful service. For all who are away from home this Easter, particularly members of the military and relief workers, that God will protect and guide them and bring them home safely. For peace throughout the world, especially in Ukraine, Israel and the Middle East, that the risen Lord will inspire all leaders in positions of power to work tirelessly for an end to terror and violence so God's peace may flourish. For all who are burdened with sickness, disease, or chronic illness, that the healing spirit of the risen Christ may bring light and wholeness to them. For all the members of this community, that all who have been washed in the waters of the new life may experience renewed faith this Easter season. By renewing our baptismal promises, we pray that we may seek God's guidance in our decisions and live faithfully as children of God. 
We pray for Petra Santiago, the intention of this Mass, and for all who have died, especially remembering all loved ones called home to the Lord since last Easter. May God comfort their families who mourn and unite all of our faithful departed into the joy of heaven. For the prayers we hold in our hearts, For those who serve to protect us, for the youth and young adults of our parish community, for the aged and vulnerable, and for the one person here who needs our prayers the most. We pray to the Lord. Lord our God, listen to the prayers that we offer. Give us the wisdom to center our lives on the light of the world, Jesus Christ. Give us the grace to fill our homes and strengthen our families in the light of your love. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We invite any children here who brought their envelopes today to place them in the basket near the altar at this time. Together we join in singing number 170, Hallelujah is our song, number 170. What hope we have, even in the longest night, for the last my sisters and brothers that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the, May the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. 
for our good and the good, good of all his holy church. Filled with Easter joy, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. In his dying, he destroyed our death. In his rising, he has opened for us the way to heaven. And so we join our voices now with the saints and angels as we acclaim. You're indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. And in a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. God, our Father, we remember with joy all that Jesus, your Son, has done to save us. In this holy sacrifice, which he gave to us as a gift, we remember his death and resurrection. Accept us now together with your Son. He willingly died for us, but you raised him to life again. Jesus now lives with you in glory, but he also dwells here among us. One day he will come again. And in his kingdom, there will be no more sadness or suffering, no more violence and war, no more hatred, no more pain. Father, you've called us together to share in the body and the blood of Jesus Christ, to be strengthened by the power of your spirit. Through our sharing in this meal, give us the wisdom and the grace to choose the light and to serve you more and more each day. Remember Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop. Help all of us, all of us, to work together for unity and especially for peace. And bring us all at last together with Mary, the Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, to live with you, to be one with Christ forever in heaven. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Together as sisters and brothers in the Lord, we pray for our salvation in the words that Jesus, our Savior, has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be free from all sin, safe from every distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sin, but upon the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. My sisters and brothers, may the peace of the Lord be with you always. So imagine last night the church was dark, one light, Jesus Christ came in, and then people shared it one by one by one. It was radiant. This is a moment to practice that so that when we go to home, when we go to work, when we go to school, wherever we are, that we keep sharing the light, the love, the peace that is Jesus Christ. My sisters and brothers, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Jesus, who gave his life for us so that we can walk in the light, in the love of Jesus. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy you should enter under my roof. 
but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. to the table of the Lord, our communion hymn is number 164, Alleluia, Love is Alive, number 164.
Just a uh, couple simple uh, Easter thoughts here for you. As you leave today, there's a book called Beautiful Eucharist. It is a very wonderful, simple reflection to remind us of the power of the blessing every time we come here together at the table of the Lord. Families are best at the table, yes? yes. And the family of God is best when we come here to the table of the Lord. Grab a bulletin for yourself, take one for a family member as well. It's a great way filled with wonderful opportunities for all of us to choose the light in the joy of this Easter season. Thirdly, if you go right out front to the right, all the kids. So we, we were blessed yesterday. Because we moved the Easter egg hunt to a drive through there wasn't a drop of rain, yes or yes? <laughs> but here was the better part. Here was the better part. So you imagine how it takes to reimagine everything on, uh, literally on, at a flip of a switch. Within 45 minutes, we had 60 members here stuffing bags of candy and eggs for the kids. What a blessing, yes? 
So whatever is left, we had a great, it was very successful, but we over, overcompensated because we have more candy, more eggs. Grab them out front, take one for yourself, take one for one of your family members. And so the 60 people responding in 45 minutes, one example. This week, here at St. Ambrose, in this region, we took care of 165 families for Easter food. This week, down in Cleveland, we took care of 525 families for Easter food. That's an expression of your goodness and the good that we do together. And last night, 31 people joined the church and joined this community. That is spectacular, yes? yes? That is, all three of those are clear signs that the Spirit of God is alive in your hearts and in the life of this community. For the next nine days, everybody's going to talk about one thing. What is it? Yes. And we're going to focus on the darkness. How do we use the next nine days to focus on the one thing that came first, which is? Jesus Christ. Choose that light. Secondly, have the grace and the courage to literally push out whatever blocks that light in your life. And thirdly, if all of us leave here today literally sharing that light, just like the gospel, we will be amazed at the mighty things that God will do in your life, in your homes, in your family, and across the world. Amen? God bless you abundantly. Let's stand and pray. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favor, so that renewed by these Easter mysteries, we may come to the glory of heaven, where Jesus is Lord forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. As we go forth celebrating our risen Lord, please join in singing number 21 in the front white insert on that day. Number 21 in the front white insert.
so much for joining us this Easter at St. Ambrose. God bless you abundantly for all you do and we do together to continue the work, the ministry, the mission of Jesus Christ. We've had such a blessed Lenten season, so many gathering in prayer, so many helping, working together to build up the kingdom of God, as I said, to continue the work of Jesus. God bless you for your prayerful support. God bless you for all the good that you and we do together. Take some time to look at the Easter Bulletin. You'll see the website right on this video, right? Look through it, see if there's a way that you can participate. Look through it and see the good that you and we have done together. Look through it and find a way that Jesus might be inviting you to find a deeper faith, a greater joy, new life, in the Easter season. God bless you abundantly. God bless your family. And let's walk into the joy of Easter, renewed and recommitted as followers of the Lord. Happy Easter.